They've finished their education. They've turned loose that huge appetite to grow, to develop. And they turn loose the appetite of success to sow seed and to invest in their future and in the future of their kids. When they arrive in America, they don't stop living. They don't stop seeking. They don't stop developing their life. Now that they've arrived, they begin the development. And this is what we don't want immigrants to do when they come to America, is sit on their family when they get here. Then they become a ward of the law, of the community, and the public assistance. Yes. Who needs that? They could have stayed home to get that. But they come here because of opportunity. Why did you come to Jesus? If not for opportunity, help me this morning. Yes. Did you not come to Jesus? Not only the, you see, some people, unfortunately, they come to Christ as an escape artist. Well, thank God I accepted Christ. I know I've escaped hell and damnation. But God, I mean, I'm not saved. <laughs> no, no, no. People come to America for opportunity. Yes. And when you come to Christ, likewise, you should come to Him because of opportunity. Amen. Amen. You need to understand that when you come to the Lord, you become an heir of God. Yeah. And a joint heir with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the name of God. If if I if if, if, <laughs> if I if I, if you if you if you got if you got I never a male that said you have received an inheritance. Wouldn't it be logical? Can I have a look at the will? <laughs> Make sure to get right. I'd like to see what I've inherited. Good preaching. Okay, I slice that. If you become an heir, and has your name on it, Bill Lyman, and the first thing we're doing, can I look at the at the will? I'd like to see what I've inherited. Amen. Your will. Amen. So the will has been given to you. What God has for you. 
You've got to have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And secondly, you've got to love the saints. Amen. If you don't have those, forget it. You're not an heir yet. That's right. But look now, verse 16. Now that you know, also, I do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you. My now, watch 17. It's going to blow you away. That the God and Father is Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation and knowledge of him. Verse 18, here it comes. The eyes of your understanding be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. You have to have, you have to meet two qualifications. One, you have to believe in Jesus Christ. And secondly, you've got to love God's people. Amen. He said, I'm going to pray that God will give you a spirit of understanding and a spirit of wisdom and a spirit of revelation. That's what I'm talking about next week. That's what I'm going to I was going to talk about that. <laughs> but you all pulled something out. You have to have those two qualifications. You have to believe in Jesus and you have to love the church. How many times have I told you that? I've told you that over and over again. You have to believe in Jesus and love the people of God. Amen. Get it on. Become weaved, interweaved, knitted, fitted together with the people of God. And then you will find out what the riches of the glory of His inheritance is in the saints. You can turn that off if you want to now. I'm going to deal with that next week. So you see the part of that where an heir of God and join us with Jesus. But you have to have those two qualifications. And then I'm going to explain to you that God will give you a spirit of wisdom and a spirit of revelation that you may know what the riches are of his inheritance in the sanctuary. Mm. So, if I say, Bill, you're an heir. So-and-so died. Jesus died. Right? Rose again the third day. And he made you an heir of everything. Wouldn't Bill say? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at the Bible says, ah, that's for me. Look at that. Ah. Amen. Finding in the will of God what you become an heir of should drive you crazy. Amen. Amen. Well, at least far as silly. <laughs> you may want to turn that, but still, you know what I'm saying? It's in there. It's all in there for you. The blessings of God. Hallelujah. His favor. All through the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray a better communion. Jesus, we love you today. We thank you that this Memorial Day we have in this church, and perhaps many watching by. YouTube listening by CD today. Men and women who have served the Lord, we thank you for each and every one of them. We bless them in the name of Jesus. We bless them in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for their heart and their service and their sacrifice. We thank you, Lord. As one of those folds says, and what it means in the folding of the flag. They walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So that we can be an heir of 1776. We've come to this country, Lord. Because we sought opportunity. And we wanted to be set free from the bondage of tyranny and slavery. We've come to this country looking for that opportunity to develop ourselves and to build a future for this country and for our families. Father, as we look into our salvation, we are frightfully poor in comparison to where we should be because we have not come to Christ and continued to seek those things which are above. 
where Christ sits at the right hand of God. We came to Christ and didn't stop and sat on our feet. Sat on our lords. But coming to Christ is just the beginning. Father, let each person here today who proclaims Christ as their Savior have an appetite, a hunger, and a curiosity, an intrigue into the will of God, into His testament, His covenant with us, making us heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. Lord, we just pray today that we be seeking those things which are above. As we prepare our hearts right now for the Lord's table, God, may we ever be drawn closer to you as we worship you and we're changed. As we see you face to face, we're changed into the image of the likeness of the Son of God. May that be our portion today within the communion of the Holy Spirit. Everybody said amen. amen. Let's prepare our hearts today.